everybody. Hey, it is New Year's. Welcome to 2022. Let's get it on. I'm so excited to be here with you sharing some marketing strategies that I hope will help serve you in building your personal brand, in reaching more people, in driving real revenue for your online business so that you can make your income, make your impact, and truly enjoy this beautiful uh, and, and incredible opportunity that we all have. I mean, whew, it's really something incredible. When you think about how many people you can reach these days and how much we've learned in this influencer, creator, thought leader, expert space together, holy cow, I see almost... 700 people in this thing already, guys. Unbelievable. Let's go. Who's dedicated to building their business this year? Give us a shout out down below. Where are you watching from? Because, you know, I geek out about that. I'd love to hear about where you're all tuning in from. I see Montreal, Los Angeles, Finland, Singapore, New York, Sarasota, Houston, Denver, San Francisco, Tucson, Auburn, Ohio, Dallas. This is unbelievable. Bucharest. Oh, my gosh. Brazil is in the house. Let's go. Listen, Denmark's in the house. Duluth is in the house. Minneapolis is here. Oh my gosh. Cleveland is online, ladies and gentlemen. Paris is in this house. Woo! Y'all live in some beautiful places around the world. Uh, I, if you're new to my world, I'm Brendan Burchard, founder of Influencer Pro. I wrote a little book called The Millionaire Messenger that kicked off what we now call the influencer, creator, thought leader, expert economy way back in 2009. And I've had the opportunity now over this last 15 years to make a full-time living as a writer, as a high-performance coach, and as an online teacher. I've had the blessing of having my video views, over half a billion views we crossed this last year, over 7 million fans and followers across our internets, and um, you know, six best-selling books, the opportunity to work with the best creators, teachers, brands in the world, and I'm still happy. <laughs> so how do you reach people and build a brand that lasts 15 years, that is able to serve people, and that you still enjoy the process, You know that you still feel like you're doing your thing, that you still enjoy making the content, that you don't burn out, that you earn enough, because if you don't make the money, you can't sustain the message and I know that people who are attracted to my world, it's always about the message and the movement and the mission first. You know, I'm not the get rich quick guy in the industry. I never have been. Um, I never thought I'd teach marketing at all. Uh, I just was teaching personal development. But I had to learn marketing to do that. I had to learn marketing to sell my books. I had to learn marketing so I could be a teacher online without having to take a job somewhere. And so marketing became a skill that I learned and I'm still learning so that I could fulfill what I feel like is, is my calling and, and my mission and my purpose. And that's bringing self-improvement to the world. I never knew I'd teach creators or folks like us, but I've been around so long, you know, in some of the first big major online launches, the first major live cast, the first major, um, you know, online challenges, most of those either did first, second, or third. So I've had this perspective over all these years to share like, oh, here's what's working and here's how to do it. And to give you an idea, just like, I mean, how many of you guys, you're the only person in your company? You're a solopreneur, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner, but you're the creator. You're doing most of the marketing. Look around here. Lorraine, yes. Debbie, yes. Lady, yes. Kev, yes. Mindy, uh, 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 let's see. see there's, sorry, the screen started to change on me so fast. John Paul, yes. Who else? Raise your hand. Brocco, yes. Meadow, yes. Jill, yes. Alina, yes. Look at all these folks. You can see raising their hand from all of them. Raise your hand if you're the primary. That's me too. So I'm here to share. Oh, those folks don't have their cameras on. Okay. These folks do. And what's so cool is that we all have to figure out how to do this work. And, you know, I... I think the, the reason, that hopefully, that you're here is you know I still do. If you got an email today, I wrote that email. I scheduled that email. I made that image. I added it to the calendar. If you uh, have seen any 
major campaign or promotion in the last 15 years that had my name on it. I usually built that web page, uh, wrote that email sequence, or if I didn't do it myself, somebody drafted it and then I went in. For the first 10 years, it was just me and my customer service team and my events team. Never had a person on my marketing team for a decade. I had made almost $50 million online and I was the only one pushing all the buttons. Now we passed over $100 million online in sales of my brand, my content, my products, my programs. And 95% of that, I made those pages. I wrote those emails. I was doing the lives. And so I'm here to share it with you from someone who's been in the trenches. And trust me, I'm not bragging about any of those numbers. Sometimes in those trenches, it felt like war for years. I didn't know what I was doing. I made my life way harder than it needed to be. And so my hope today is to break down some concepts for you that might serve you. And whether you're starting and you're like, dude, I haven't made 10 bucks on the internet. What are you talking about? That's okay. That's why I started. I launched a book in 2001 and then another one in 2007, and they didn't sell well. And I was like, ah, I got to learn this marketing thing. I got to figure this out. So I want to let you know it's okay if you're just starting. I also know we got some ballers on here. We got some folks on here. You're already crushing it. You've already got the views and the traffic and you're earning that six, seven, eight figures. You're crushing, you're pumped, but you're trying to get sane again because this is a industry that really challenges your mental health. You know, to be the CEO and the creator, to be the person doing all the things you're doing, you're not just the CEO or just the creator. You're also the production assistant, <laughs> the copywriter, the video editor, the social media manager, the customer service. You know, you're the operator, the creator, the builder. That's hard, man. So hopefully we can talk about how to do this and enjoy the process and do it in a way that you'll last and then you'll endure. Uh, I would love to encourage you all as I teach today to uh, post your questions in the chat. My team will be gathering those up and that will help me throughout the year build curriculum for you. Um, I know we have people from attending from all over. Some of you guys were with me at Influencer Summit. Some of you guys are on certain platforms. Some of you guys and gals are, you know, um, first time you ever hearing about me, that's fine. And my goal is to make this fun, entertaining, but give you a plan for this year. Because this year, who is committed to driving a whole other level of impact and revenue? Like fired up about it, like has to happen. This has to be the year we're doing it. We're on. It's like Scott saying yes, Sonny saying yes. I can see your hands raising up. I know that you're after it. Michael's after it. Joanne's after it. We got to do this work. Brenda's after it. Chantal is after it. We're going to do this together, y'all. We got to crush it this year. Never before, never before has the world more accepted what we do, more sought out what we do, more purchased what we do, had more deals for what we do. The, you know, what I began in calling the expert industry in 2007 became the thought leader industry by 2011, became the knowledge industry by 2015, became the influencer industry, became the creator economy. And you know, next year, they're just going to call us all ninjas. I don't know what the heck. They're, they're always making up new names. But what unites everyone right here today is every one of you is trying to build a personal brand, do better on social media, earn income, by sharing your knowledge, your content, your passions, where that means you're the expert or you're the cur curator, or you're the researcher or the reporter, you're in a role in which you're trying to put content out there and you're trying to monetize that content and your brand. And so today we'll, we'll break it down a little bit for you. Now, full disclosure, today I've got about you know, an hour or 90 minutes with you. And I know we've got a lot of people who are our official members in Influencer Pro, or my mastermind here as well. And I'll tell you guys about those programs if you're not in them briefly. And then we're gonna jump in to talk about content and campaigns. So just, I wanna give context to who's in this room. 
Uh, who's in this room primarily are Influencer Pro members. If you're not an Influencer Pro member, what that means is every month I go live like this on the first of each month, but Influencer Pro members also receive Experts Academy, Total Product Blueprint, and the replays of these live teachings as I go throughout the month. And a special members area only where we'll be rolling out exclusive marketing training all year, every week. That's called Influencer Pro. My team will put a link in there for those who don't have it. Influencer Pro. Uh, we also have some members. If you are my former members, an Influencer Business Program, we just renamed that to Influencer Pro this year. So if you're like, what the heck? We just renamed it. It's a, it was a rename. Uh, Influencer Business Program is now Influencer Pro. And full members receive Experts Academy, Total Product Blueprint, these live casts, and a, the replays and a special members area that we are literally rolling out today and this week. Uh, also, in, uh, my team, will, again, if you don't know what that is, the team will put a link to Influencer Pro for you. It's a subscription for the year to just set you up for your deepest dive marketing training. Other folks in this room, to give context, we have mastermind members in this room. I'm kicking off a new mastermind this year, and it is by application only. And I'm basically giving what used to be our $100,000 mastermind group. Um, we've lowered the price out, and we've really um, created a transformational program where every month I do a deep dive two-hour session with our mastermind members. We're meeting in person this year for two days at our mastermind. Mastermind members also get everything in Influencer Pro. And then they also receive office hours with me every single Monday of the year, which I've never offered outside of our $100,000 mastermind group. But this is not a $100,000 mastermind group. Uh, we have a, our new offer is $30,000 per year. It's not for everybody. That's for those who are advanced. And my team will put an application in an application link, I believe, in the chat as well. That is by application only because I just want to know how advanced you are and I want to work with people who have a little bit more knowledge. So if you're starting out, Influencer Pro. If you're you know, all the way up to your first six figures, Influencer Pro. Once you're heading towards that seven figures or want to, that's mastermind level stuff and that will be awesome. And that's who's in this room today. Outside of that, we've got members of platforms in here, Kajabi, Circle. We've got friends from Influencer Summit in here. I don't know who, oh, who I don't know who you all are. We got vampires in here. We got angels, and we got we we got New Year's partiers in here. I don't know what's happening. It's a party up in here, ladies and gentlemen. We got people from all around the world. We got some aliens up in here. We got some creators, some givers, some influencers. What I know unites us is we. I know we attract servant leaders. You want to do this because you want to make a difference. Let's jump in and talk about how to do that well this year. So I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully, you guys can help me out and let me know if you can actually see it here in a second. And voila, we should be in screen land. Can you guys see my screen if you just raise your hand? It helps me. You see screen? You see screen? It says Influencer Pro 2022 Marketing Strategy. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Air Control Pilates. I see you. That helps me. Um, thumbs up, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you. By you giving me a thumbs up, I know where the heck I'm at. So I'm going to give you the marketing chart. We're going to break it down. We're going to keep it simple today. I would say first and foremost, if you want to win this year, no matter what your topic is, what audience you serve, what you charge money for, how many things you charge money for, how new you are to the industry or not, it comes down to two primary commitments this year. You have to have a commitment to consistent high-quality content. No duh, Brendan, explain it to me. I will. And you have to have a commitment to evergreen campaigns and live launch campaigns. I'm going to break those things down. Don't worry. Don't get overwhelmed. This is the topic we're going to go deep down in today. Why? Hey, Brendan. Because, sorry to yes. interrupt you. I'm sorry, we're not seeing the right slides. There oh. we are. That's it. Now it's back. Thank you. How about that? Do you see it now? No, it's it's switching. Oh, okay. There, Thank that's you for the... it now. 
I appreciate that. Let's try this again. Let me close it out. We'll call it back in. Thank you so much. That's Sherry, by the way. Everyone thanks Sherry. She's always cheering you guys on so well. That's weird. Let's try again. Let me close it. Reopen it. It's because Zoom loves Keynote, as you guys all know. (laughs) I'm like, can we make friends, Apple and Zoom? Maybe this is the year. You become friends. It'd be nice. It'd make it easier on all of our lives. Okay, let's try this again. Thanks for letting me know and share. Let's come back over here. Okay. How about now? Do you see two circles on a slide? Great. Okay, great. Content campaigns. This is, and thanks for jumping in and share. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, y'all. I see we have 900 people in the room. Apologize. That means a lot of people aren't going to get in in about 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to, you guys got in, you're here. Let's celebrate New Year's. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about your commitments this year. This has to be your year of abundance. Write it down. My year of abundance. Please write it down. I hope you're all taking notes today. Write it down. This day of this year is all about your commitments. It's about your declarations. It's about your hopes, your dreams. And you've got to say, okay, I'm going to go to another level. This has to be another level. In high performance, we always talk about that next level. That next level takes another level of commitment, another level of learning, and another level of discipline and consistency. Commitment, learning, consistency. That's what we got to do. That commitment begins with your morning. Your morning, you must say, and you must clear time during that day to do one of these two things. I'm making it so simple on the screen here for you. You've got to use that day to either create content or be running campaigns. I know that's so simple, but at the end of the day, that's what we have to do. Now, some of you are like, wait, uh, I, 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 content, I'm not good at that, or campaigns, I just want a brand to give me money. Well, a brand's only going to give you money if you're doing campaigns. And you're only going to make money when you sleep, when you have evergreen campaigns running. Evergreen means campaigns you set up that automatically run. And we'll talk about those. But this year, it has to be another level. We've got to go to another level in both of these areas. So even before I begin, what's your intention this year? What's your intention for your content this year? How much content do you want to put out each week? How good is your content going to be this year? What's going to make your content different this year? How are you going to enjoy making content this year? These are some basic questions for you today. What about your campaigns? What type of campaigns do you want to run? You know, I teach, uh, as you guys know, if you, I know we've got people from different audiences here, but in my mastermind, we have these things we call playbooks, like marketing playbooks. There's really like 12 major campaigns you can run in, the, in our space. And each of those campaigns, they're just different. You know, that, and the good news is there, if you didn't know it, you're like, I don't know which campaign to run. I'm like, oh, great. There's 12. And you can really dial those down. And if you're an influencer pro, just watch Total Product Blueprint. There's 12. The mastermind playbooks, it's deeper. It's um, more advanced. So again, if you're new, influencer pro is the right answer. If you want to go deep or go way advanced, learn like the million dollar stuff, that's the mastermind. So today we're going to help you figure out what campaigns I'd recommend for this year. So by the way, if you're watching this later on replay or somewhere else, I'm in the year 2022 (laughs) as we're filming this and every year slightly different. And I've learned over the years how I would prioritize specific campaigns changes based on the zeitgeist, the ethos of where we're at. And I'll share two really brief fast things for you. In content, if you want to win and stand out this year, let me give you some basic themes. Your content must be content in which it is encouraging other people. 
you need to be you need to be the encourager in your audience or marketplace. People need to know when they go to you, you're going to teach them to stay encouraged. You're going to teach them to encourage themselves. Your energy is going to be more positive than the next person. And when I say that, I don't mean like Pollyannish, you know, just crazy optimism. I mean, you're going to be the person who believes in your audience's capabilities more than others. We've come through a really dark time, and I know you guys know that. We've had a tremendous amount of negativity and uncertainty, stress, hatred, division, vitriol at levels we've never, ever experienced just in the last two, three years. It's gotten to like decibel levels that most of us, it's just like, it, it's grating on your brain and it's causing a mental health problem. We get to be the solution to that. At least, if not the solution, the counterbalance. You get to be the person who's encouraging people this year. And I want to let you know this. If I go and look at your blog, your podcast, your social media, and I look at the last 10 or 15 posts, the last 10 or 12 emails, the listen to the last 10 or 15 podcasts, if I don't hear you explicitly stating that you are trying to encourage people, then you're not doing it. See, in leading an audience, in building an audience, explicit communication repeated over and over and over is the only way to create a brand, create a deep connection, and to start a movement. And too often we forget that if you're the teacher, what teachers are really doing is encouraging learning. Is it true? See, as teachers, we often think, you know, we're so thoughtful or our ego tells us we're the expert in everything. But the reality is our job is to encourage learning, encourage the desire for that next level of mastery. And too many people aren't breaking through online is because they're not encouraging well. It's critical. Your content has to be encouraging. We have to use the word encouragement. And we can't just be positive or put out positive things. We, have to, we actually have to start communicating explicitly. Whatever you think you're communicating or you want to communicate, if you're not saying it in multiple pieces of content, I mean, explicitly with exact wording, you're not saying it. This has to be the year that you stop hoping people pick up things about you. And you create a communication plan that says things specifically and explicitly, exact phrases over and over and over again, values that you're going to communicate over and over and over again, key words that you're going to say over and over and over again. Why? Otherwise, if your audience doesn't get you and you don't break through. Encouragement and specificity. That's your content this year. That's the magic more than ever. And it wasn't always that way. Four years ago, it wasn't so important to be the encourager and specificity could be more of the generalist. Now, there's so much noise that if you're not repetitively stating your core offering, your core beliefs, your core values, your core takeaways, if that's not coming across in your content and your campaigns, pff, good luck breaking through. And if you're already breaking through, you're, earn, you're like, Brenda, I'm earning a lot of money, but I'm not doing that yet. I'm like, oh, then that's your next level. That's your amplification. That's your multiplier effect. That's what will really make it go to another level. And then campaigns, real briefly, and I'll jump into another level on some of this stuff. That campaigns, it's knowing what to do on a you know, evergreen basis, meaning the campaigns that always run. And then what live types of campaigns are working now. And we'll talk through that too. And obviously, you guys have the, abel the availability to do this these days. I mean, look, I got it. Ooh, well, the room I'm in, we maxed out. Um, we got a thousand people in this room right now. That's crazy. From all over the world, I'm going to come out and look at your faces over here for a second. So this slide, my goodness. 
Are we talking about that many people from around the world joining us right now? I would love for you as you're here, hey, you guys know, you're smart, you're trend spotters. Post down below, what do you think is going to work in 2022? What marketing strategies or approaches are going to work? Just light it up in the chat or in the comments, wherever you're watching this. What do you think is going to work this year? I love this. Be real. Be consistent. Be the encourager. Be positive. I'm watching you. I can see it. Oh, this is good. Webinars, repeat. Yes, challenges. Yep, 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 yep. This is good. This is good. I'm seeing you guys. Look at that. You guys, I hope you guys are watching this. This is awesome. Live launches. Yes. Business, brand outreach, authenticity. Yes, yes, yes. What else? Community building. Nice. You got it. You got it. Woo! This is y'all are dropping a master class down here. This is good. This is good. Oh my goodness. That's good, guys. Okay. All right, I'll come back. We're going to go deep dive now. Let me hit up my slides again. I'm going to need your help to know if you can see it since we couldn't see it last time. And here we go. Do you see my slides? You see two circles? Thumbs up, two circles. Put your thumb right towards the screen if you can, or thumbs down if you can't. Thumbs up. Okay, Tammy, thank you. I actually do see you. I am a human. This is live. Okay, you're helping me out. Okay. We're going to go into content. Do you see something that says weekly newsletter? Do you all see it? Okay, great. Let's go. Let's go. Weekly newsletter. People are going, what should I do for my content? I'm like, you, I, we, this is just going to some old school stuff. There'll be some foundational stuff and we'll go a little more advanced as we go today. But please make sure you got a weekly newsletter going out to your audience. What does that presuppose? You're capturing email somewhere. Your career today is still predicated upon your email strategy. To this day, nothing has proven to be more lucrative, generate more lifetime value and higher engagement over a period of time than email. And I know for 10 years, everyone's like, email's dead. I'm like, oh my God, every year, email's dead, email's dead. When Facebook came out, well, email's dead. I'm like, well, how did you log into your Facebook? Oh, with your email? Gee, shocker. You know, <laughs> it's like email's not going away, my friends. It's just not going away. And so I think it's important. Weekly newsletter is your way of touching base, solidifying your key messages, demonstrating expertise, and being a consistent part of their life. Now, if you see the slide, Tammy, you still see the slide that says weekly newsletter? Okay, I'm watching you. I see you too. Thank you. Anita, you see the slide? I see you. It's okay. See, I call them people because they don't believe I see their faces. Weekly net newsletter. Notice it says featuring a link to long form. What's the phrase? Long form. 2022 long form content will continue to be the differentiator. Long form content. See, in social media, it's fun to do reels and TikToks and short stories. And that's powerful. We'll talk about that. But if we never go beyond that, we never get depth. If we never get depth with our customers, our clients, our community, then guess what? We never will be able to achieve the connection that will allow us to sell those high ticket items to sell those monthly recurring subscriptions, to have them buy stuff. What they will see is there'll be someone you follow, but you won't be someone they buy from over and over and over again. So your long form content, that can be a, a podcast, that can be you know, a podcast that, you know, some of the, it doesn't mean all podcasts need to be an hour, but have one podcast episode a week that is an hour, right? It doesn't mean every video needs to be over 15 minutes, but once a week, have a video that's over 30 minutes. It doesn't mean the blog always needs to be, you know, 2,000 words, but once in a while, have a blog that's over 2,000 words. And you don't have to do all of them. Some of you guys just do a newsletter and the newsletter will be a big, long love letter to your subscribers every week. That's fine. 
Some of you will make it out of podcast. Some of you do a vlog. Some of you like me, I do all three of them, right? Vlog, podcast, video, we do all three. But I want a long form link. So you write the newsletter and you link to something that's longer form or the newsletter itself is long form. I cannot share how important that is heading into this year, okay? For those who are an influencer pro, when you watch Thought Leader Roadmap and Total Product Blueprint, there's a full training on how to develop curriculum or how to develop great deep dive content, okay? So both those courses will teach you that. If uh, you know, as you're a member with me, I'm always talking about the value of great content. I still believe that is the central piece. It's way more important than entertainment. Entertainment, you can do. But I have a lot of entertainers who have a million plus fans on Instagram, and they're relatively broke compared to what they could be earning. That when you don't have any education or deeper dive or longer form content, it's hard for your brand to ever stand out. So it's worth it. I know some of you have made that. You're like, but Brandon, I've been making long form for two years and I still ain't making money. Well, that's because you're doing good on content, but bad on campaigns. That's why you see content and campaigns together. That's the breakthrough. We'll be talking about that all year long in Influencer Pro and Mastermind. Okay, next up, four times a day on social media. <gasps> oh my God, Brandon, that's so much. No, it's not. And we'll talk you through how to do that. Okay. First and foremost, you don't have to be on every channel in social media. So take a breather. Oh God. Okay. I earn tens of millions of dollars. I'm still not on TikTok. I'm surviving, even though I'm a hell of a dancer, as you all know. Oh my God. I mean, you just have to realize you don't have to be everywhere. You get to choose. Choose your platform for social media. I have friends who aren't on social media at all, and they're just doing webinars and they're crushing it or they're doing live Zooms every Saturday for their audience and selling stuff, and they're crushing it. You don't even have to do social media. But if you care about scale, you care about impact of your messaging, why you wouldn't be consistent on social media comes down to your own barrier in learning and trying new things. It's not a preference. People think it's a preference, but when you dig into psychology, They've got a fixed mindset. They, they got stuck in a belief about social media. Uh, I'm not a, I don't do technology. Oh, social media is just for kids. Oh, I'm too old, which is a huge mistake many of you make. I'm too old. I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? H have you paid attention at all? That like right now, anywhere in the world, all over the world, all different age ranges are earning and crushing it online. Stop telling your story that you can't go hit a biography section in a bookstore and read all the stories of people who overcame impossible odds to have extraordinary success. You got to believe in you this year. You got to put yourself out there this year. Stop with the I'm old, I'm dumb, I don't know technology, I'm not a marketer. And just ask, do you want to make a difference? Yes or no? Can I get a yes on the first of the year? I mean, this is a year of making a difference. Can I get an amen in the comments, ladies and gentlemen? Like, this has got to be the year. This has to be the year, period. I mean, look at I, You can tell. It's like we've maxed out this particular Zoom. I don't know where else we're broadcasting. So, team, please let people know who are trying to get in this one. Um, our apologies. We'll, we'll try to get Influencer Pro members the replay. Let them know. Influencer Pro members will get the replay. Apologize. Oh, my gosh. Um, but obviously people are saying, I want to make a difference this year. I want to reach more people this year. So leverage social media. Stop making the arguments against it and start using it as a weapon and a tool to reach people with goodness four times a day. Pick your platform four times a day. Hit it up if you can. Schedule it for 6 or 7 a.m. your time and then every four hours after. Why? Because people scroll. And because people scroll... It's, it, you think no one likes my stuff. It's like, no, they didn't see it. They just didn't see it. You posted at 7 a.m. They're logging in right now at 10. There's a million things between your old post and what they saw. So you got to be consistently and available there. It doesn't mean that every piece of, listen, it doesn't mean every piece of content has to be new. Matter of fact, it's way better 
If they're not, what you should be doing in sharing those four is one of those should be new each day. Try to create something new every day. One of those should be what we call your best of. You should have a best of, you know, Dropbox folder of your most shared or liked or viewed things you've ever done and recycle those, recycle that. So you're just scheduling and recycling the winners, right? Because people already like it. People like what's familiar. It already hit off. So you take the same thing and maybe you make it look differently or just post the same dang one later. For those who are building a community where you're building a, a you know, community from different voices, you can curate one of those posts, meaning find something that's already popular on the internet from someone in your industry already and share it. Make sure you cite or tag them, but share something. And the other piece might be for you, if you're building a community, might be a feature of one of your customers or your clients, or it might be a promotion, or it might be a, you know, a, a, a link to something else that you've done, another video or a long form, something like that. But four times a day, that's what's going to get you the practice. It's going to get you in there. Now, I don't care if that's a reel for you. I don't care if it's a TikTok for you. I don't care if it's a story. I don't care if it's Instagram or Facebook. I could care less four times a day. The algorithm favors it and it rewards it. And it always has, since I've been measuring this since 2007, it's not changed. It's not changed. Doesn't mean you can't do more, by the way, if you're super prolific and you want to do it by the hour. I mean, I know people who tweet by the hour. I don't know how they do it. I would go mentally insane, but some people can do it. And I'm impressed. Next up, what should your content be? It should begin with and be centered upon what your audience is searching for. What we say, focus on searched phrases. Who is your customer? What are they searching for? What are they searching for on Google, on YouTube? Who are they scrolling by? What are the core concepts and phrases that they're interested in that solves their pain or helps them achieve their ambition? Then, so that's what the customer wants, searches for, aspires for, or solves a pain. Focus on that. Also, focus on what your passions, your artistry, or your topic area is that you want to share. Some of you guys know my famous A to Z content thing that, I mean, everyone has stolen since 2001 when I started teaching this. Your A to Z content thing means you take your topic area, you go up to a whiteboard or post out your journal, and you write A to Z, the alphabet, right? A through Z. And each of those Letters begins the word related to your topic. And that's how you brainstorm what to share. I'll give you an example. I'm in personal development. That's where I make my living. That is my passions. It's what I care about more than anything else than helping you guys as entrepreneurs build your businesses. So my topic, personal development. So A through Z, okay? I never sit there and go, what should I share? Here's what I do. A through Z. A in personal development stands for what? A stands for ambition. Okay, cool. B stands for uh, belief. C stands for confidence. D stands for discipline. E stands for energy. F stands for frustration. G stands for gratitude. H stands for happiness. I stands for intelligence. You know, and you just go down and you pick one word that relates to the bigger topic and piece, create a piece of content for that. And you do that all day long. If you do that twice, you just got a piece of content every week of the year. For those doing the math on that, 26 letters in the English alphabet times two equals 52, 52 weeks in the year. So I don't even need that many. A stands for ambition one time. The next time, A stands for action. The next time, A stands for attention. The next time, A stands for awareness. You guys get the idea? So you never run out of ideas. Simple word association to help you generate some more content. Sorry for dorking out. You might not care about that at all, but I'm just telling you what I like. Okay, next up. Number four, batch film everything. Batch filming will be your breakthrough if you haven't already figured it out. What does that mean? 
It means in one day, you knock out a ton of content. So for example, as many of you know, when I did my YouTube, 